Conductors and overcurrent protection for wind electric systems shall be calculated at no less than blank percent. And the correct answer is 125%. As we see solar and wind expanding, we're also going to see the education needs for them expand as well. Today, what we're talking about is when we're sizing conductors for and selecting overcurrent protection for wind electric systems, how do we do that? Well, let's take a look at the paraphrase code language. When we get to 694.12b in part one, it lets us know that currents in wind turbine electrical systems shall be treated as continuous. Well, as we've learned in previous parts of the code, that typically means that we're going to multiply them by 125%. Then in part B here, it removes all doubt. It says conductors and overcurrent devices circuits must be sized to handle at least 125% of the maximum current that's calculated in the previous section of 694.12a, and it tells you how to calculate these currents. And then it says that you're also allowed, the rating or adjustment of the overcurrent device is allowed to be under these sections of the code, which is 240.4b and 240.4c. And what those sections allow us to do is allow us, when it's 800 amps or less, to protect the wire with a larger overcurrent device as long as we cover the known load. And that's how we get our next size up rule. Let's say we had a known load of 94 amps and we had a wire that was good for 95 amps and we wanted to protect it with a 100 amp breaker. Well, just like in other parts of the code, that would be totally fine. We've covered the known load, which is 94 amps. Our wire is good for 95 and we're allowed to protect it with the next size up, the next standard size, and in this case, we would be code compliant. It's saying that you're allowed to also apply these rules here for wind turbines. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything you need from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.